to the River Escape Project in Stanwood, Michigan. We we're standing in front of um, a lead platinum home up in Stanwood, Michigan, and you'll see that we have solar panels, 4.2 kW up on the roof, and then over here we have solar hot water panels, and it's a passive solar home, which means that we've designed the roof and the overhangs of the home to shade it during the summer. So right now we're June 18th, and it's almost a peak solstice, so the overhangs actually shade all the windows and keep the sun from heating the home up. And then at winter time, it, the solstice comes down and lets all the sun into the home, which keeps the home warm. So what you're seeing is, you know, the south side of the home with all the photovoltaic and solar panels and passive solar happening. Also, we have a metal roof that's got recycled content, and our siding is James Hardy siding, and that has recycled content. It's cement board siding, and it's made out of lightweight concrete. The home is actually made out of insulated concrete form. You'll see we have one thing dragging down. Photovoltaic is a hot tub that we have here, and it's taking away some of the power that we're producing. Well, the average homeowner has things like that happen, so we're trying to deal with it. And we'll explain, you know, how those power loads work with the home. Uh, outside of the home, they have seven acres of land, and they, here's some pine tree seedlings that they planted. They have over 500 trees that they've planted around the perimeter of their property. We have a whole garden system that we got lead points for, and you'll see the homeowners have goats and chickens, and the chickens, you know, will run free, and the goats will keep the landscape down and the grass down. Here we are outside of the home, and we're in front of the photovoltaic panel. It's 1.30, it's June, close to June 21st. It's an overcast day, but we've still made 4.25 kilowatt hours of power since this morning. And this home is a zero energy home, meaning that over a 12 month period, we've produced more power than the home uses over the 12 month period. So during the summer, a lot, a lot of the time we net meter backwards and we're pushing extra power into the grid, which we get credit for. And we have 12 months to use that credit. And then say in December, is a cloudy and we don't have much power that month. We're able to take some of those credits from the summer and we're able to use the power from those during the winter. Here we have the windows, they're North Star windows out of Canada. They have a U value of 0.24. Um, we chose these windows because they're vinyl outside, vinyl inside, easy to keep clean. Um, they ended up being a little thicker glass than the glass that comes from the United States and they equal like a triple pane glass. They have a heat shield in the middle and they're able to we optimize the windows on the south to let more sunshine in and the rest of them we optimize so we keep the sun from coming in and we have a zero step entrance which we've also gotten zero step certification on. One of a few homes in the state of Michigan that, that's achieved silver zero step certification. Along with we've got lead for home platinum certification and we got Five Star Energy Star certification, which we have achieved a HERS score of 12 on the home, which is the lowest HERS score in Michigan as of this point. And we ended up with Green Builder Magazine Home of the Year for 2011 with this, and we've been in numerous local magazines and um, national magazines with this project. All right, we're here in the living room where I can show you the thickness of the insulated concrete forms here is almost 12 inches thick. So we end up with deeper um, window sills and stuff, which is nice. I mean, you can keep stuff on them and different things, but it also shows the thickness of the wall. So we have a six inch core with two and a half inches of foam on each side, which is a great thermal mass for our home plus it adds quite a bit of insulation to the home. Besides that, we're in the north side of the home and we have sun coming in from clear story windows that we have on the south side bringing natural light into this home 
in all areas of the home, even on the north side, which most homes aren't getting southern light on the north side. So almost every room in this home's gaining from the passive solar design we have. And these walls end up being thermal masses from the sun hitting them on the south side during the winter. And speaking of thermal masses, our floor here throughout the home, we have radiant floor heat from the solar hot water panels. And the floor here is stained concrete, which we mix inside the truck instead of doing acid stain. It's all mixed in the truck and poured in place. And we have radiant floor heat underneath with PEX tubing and different stuff tying into the mechanical room. Here we are in the mechanical room of a 1,295 square foot home. We don't have a lot of storage area in the home or room for a big mechanical room. So this is kind of tight, but packed with a lot of features. So we'll start here. We have a whole house vac, which really helps with the indoor air quality of the home. And we're able to get a lead for homes point for having stuff like this. And it actually helps the indoor air quality of the home. And speaking of indoor air quality, we have a heat recovery ventilator, HRV which brings fresh air in, makes changes fresh and stale air in the home at different rates based on our floor door test. We set this up and we have different exchange rates that we can do to bring fresh air into the home. Here we have a tankless hot water heater which backs up our boiler system which leads to our solar hot water panels which provides all the domestic hot water for the home and the radiant heat for the home. So. If the solar panels aren't producing enough solar hot water and the boiler starts to cool down, the tankless understands that as the water flows through it and actually backs up the whole system. So it's very nice. And here we have the, the manifold for the radiant floor heat. We have two uncapped um, tubes here which lead to our screen porch which is actually designed to be an extra bedroom if need be in the future and have heat to it. And we chose to keep it a screen porch for right now so we don't have heat hooked to it but in the future we have the potential of having a three bedroom home instead of a two bedroom. We have electrical and cable and phone already out to this area and all we have to do is stud in these frame in these upper walls and take the screens out and put windows in and we have a third bedroom for the home. All the appliances in the home are Energy Star appliances starting with our refrigerator, our dishwasher, and our washing machine, and even our freezer are all Energy Star appliances which, you know, help with the lower utility bills in the home. Here we are in the master bathroom slash laundry room. We, we have high efficiency washer and dryers and one of the other interesting things is we have to have this um, single throw shutoff valve for the hot and cold water for the washer and dryers and it has to be within reachable distance for someone not behind but on the side and as we're in here we have zero step throughout the house meaning that it's set up for people if a disability ever happened in the future. So all our doorways are 3 three foot, and we have zero step thresholds through the entrance to the homes, here into the shower of the home and stuff. So everything's been thought out. If something ever happened to these people in the future, that they wouldn't have to make any changes to their home for any type of um, barrier-free problem or a problem if they were ever in a wheelchair or a walker or handicapped in any way. We have blocking in all these walls for future grab bars in the shower and around all toilets and so in the future if we needed grab bars here for any reason there's blocking behind these walls already in there and, and we document that with pictures during construction and dimensions on our drawings where all those points are. And, here we have dual flush toilets throughout the home. We have low flow fixtures on every fixture in the home. And again, we have cabinetry that's built by the Amish. Yeah, we're up in Stanwood, Michigan here. It's about 45 minutes north of Grand Rapids and the homeowners commute back and forth there from here. And we kind of named the project after, you know, the beautiful view and the scenery that they have around here. It's kind of an escape from Grand Rapids and you know, they're going to retire up here and it's just a beautiful place.